This is question number 11, and it says, let f of x equal x over x plus 1 cubed, f prime of x equal 1 minus 2x over x plus 1 to the 4th, and f double prime equals 6x minus 6 over x plus 1 to the 5th. So they give us that, so that's nice. It says, which of the following statements is or are true? Be sure to consider the domain of the function. So if they give you a hint like that, you should probably use it. So it says, f of x is a vertical asymptote, x equals negative 1, and horizontal asymptotes y equals 0. So we look here at our first one. We do have our vertical asymptote when x plus 1 is equal to 0, so our x equals negative 1. So that first part is true. And then if I was to foil out this, I'd have x over x um, cubed, or yeah, something over x cubed. So if I was looking at just f of x to find my um, horizontal asymptotes, I'm going to look at my powers of my leading, um, the powers of highest powers on my top and my bottom. And if the bottom power is greater than the top, then I know that this goes to zero. So I do have a vertical asymptote x equals negative one, horizontal asymptote y equals zero. So we know that a is true. B says f of x has a relative maximum of x equals one half. So if we look here, you can set our top equal to zero and solve, and we do to get that x is equal to one half. So what we need to do is test points on either side. So if I plugged in a zero, I would get one over one to the fourth. So this is positive. And then I know that since this has a multiplicity that's odd, then it's going to switch over my value. So it is a relative max. So B is also true. For C, it says uh, that f of x has an inflection point only at x equals 1. So we're going to set the top equal to 0. And we would get um, that x equals 1. We'd add 6 and divide by 6. Um, and we'd get x equals 1. So on a 1. And um, if we set our denominator uh, equal to 0, we get negative 1. Because we try both. So at... Uh, if we plugged in 0, we would get a negative over a positive, which is a negative. And if we plugged in 2, you get a positive over a positive, so it's a positive. So we do know that, yes, indeed, at 1, there is an inflection point. And what we can do is we can already rule out negative 1, because negative 1 isn't even included in our original function. We've got a hor our vertical asymptote there. Therefore, we know it can't have an inflection point there, because we don't have a point. So, um, indeed, x equals 1 is our only inflection point, so c is also true. And then d, just to check, just to make sure, says um, f of x is a horizontal tangent line at x equals 1 half and a vertical tangent line at x equals 1. So, a horizontal tangent line means that in our first derivative, um, plugging it in would give us 0. So, we do... <coughs> We already talked about this, but if I set the top equal to 0, I do get x is equal to 1 half. So I do know that we do have a horizontal tangent line at 1 half. But the second part of this is and a vertical tangent line at x equals 1. Well, a vertical tangent line would be when our slope is undefined. And our slope would be undefined when our denominator equals 0. So if I set x plus 1 equal to 0, I get x is equal to negative 1. And negative 1 is not 1, therefore d is not true. Um, so we are looking for letter C, which is just A and C.